And you say we've got it all and maybe even a, a super moon as well? <laughs> yes, we've got our, our full moon here tonight, which is also a super moon called the harvest moon uh, because it's the full moon that's closest to uh, the autumnal equinox. So that's kind of cool out there. Moonrise tonight right around 718 this evening. We've also got a partial lunar eclipse going. So if you've got your telescope perhaps or your nice camera, check that out tonight. Sky should be mostly clear here this evening. Uh, so we got great viewing again tonight. A lot of people or at least some people saw uh, the Aurora Borealis last evening. We got some good photos of that. So um, all kinds of exciting things happening in the sky last night and tonight. We've got mostly sunny skies out there right now. There are a few clouds, but overall it's been a sunny and warm day just like yesterday. Southerly winds sustained any Anywhere between about 15 to 20 miles per hour here as we head into your Tuesday evening. It's going to be another warm one. Temperatures stay at or above 70 degrees through midnight tonight. We'll hang out eventually into the upper 60s as we get closer towards daybreak tomorrow and then kind of rinse and repeat here. More sunshine, more heat and humidity coming our way for the next several days. Skies again clear tonight. We get into the day on your Wednesday. A few clouds roll in early on Wednesday morning. This is around 6 a.m. We've got a little bit of activity back into eastern Nebraska, but that kind of fizzles out as it makes its way into western Iowa. So tomorrow should be dry here for central Iowa and the metro area. Skies clear out once again by Wednesday afternoon and evening, and then we head into the day on Thursday. We could see a few overnight showers and thunderstorms, especially across northwest Iowa and then into central Iowa as we head closer towards daybreak on Thursday. So potential to see some wet roadways to start off the day on Thursday. The clouds linger. We get a little bit of a break midday into the early afternoon, and then that next cold front comes through, and that will likely send off a few more showers and thunderstorms across central and especially into northern and north central Iowa. Rainfall totals, though, picking up a good tenth of an inch or so, maybe up to about a third of an inch here in Des Moines with all of the activity that we'll get on Thursday into early Friday. Then we'll get a break Friday and more rain arrives for the weekend. There is a potential for some of those storms to be on the stronger side, especially up across northern and north central Iowa, Fort Dodge, Mason City, Algona, all included in that level two out of five, the slight risk for severe weather. Tonight's forecast back into the low to mid 60s. Tomorrow we'll take it back closer to 90 just like today and then eight day forecast keeps us warm above average all the way through Friday afternoon. We'll keep it in the low 80s Saturday and then eventually falling into the 70s by Sunday and beyond those rain chances linger Saturday, Sunday and into the first part of Monday.